What is good, everybody? Today we have a brand new WWE Elite Action Figure Review, and it is the return of the infamous CM Punk to the WWE Mattel Elite line. And we are back today with the WWE Elite Defining Moments 4-Pack Ringside Exclusive CM Punk Action Figure. I can't think of a better way to return to the line than with an iconic moment such as the pipe bomb right here with CM Punk. And all of us get to reap the benefits because CM Punk is back, and we're going to get plenty of action figures of him. We're going to compare it to the old CM Punk figures from Mattel, see how he compares, update technology, all the great stuff. Kind of a repaint, which we'll get into, but man, I gotta be excited for this. I felt like he deserved his own review, you know what I mean? I think this is a monumental moment that I wanted to sort of clarify in the review on the channel. And of course, if you guys want to buy this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But this is our classic Defining Moments packaging. You have CM Punk across the top. One thing you can't say about this figure is that it's not a defining moment. You know, we talk about it, we debate it, we talk about how this figure wasn't defining moments, this figure doesn't belong in this line, etc., etc. This figure most definitely belongs in this line. No doubt about it in my mind. But here's a front viewing window. It is a more compact version of the classic Defining Moments packaging. Just a lot more. It's not as tall. It's not as thick, I don't think. But you have the Ringside Collectibles exclusive logo. You have the Defining Moments down here from the bottom, which is the old logo. Mattel down there as well. Nice shot of CM Punk on the side. WWE logo. We have some guys wrestling down here. On the back, you get a nice iconic shot of the Pipe Bomb promo itself, which was such a great, epic moment, man, that I think a lot of people will remember from forever. I mean, this is one of CM Punk's possibly most infamous moments of his career, I'd say. But here is the bio read. If you guys want to read it, you can pause it now. You have a nice little shot of CM Punk on the little circle right there. Same images on the side, and that is pretty much our packaging for the CM Punk. I'm very excited for it, man. Very, very excited for it. And I'd like to know, my little question of the day to you is, which Defining Moments 4-pack set do you think is better? The newest one featuring CM Punk, Kane, RVD, and LA Knight? Or do you think Series 1 of the Return of the Defining Moments line featuring Shawn Michaels, Cody Rhodes, Bret Hart, and Mankind was the better wave. Tomorrow, I'll review the whole entire set, and I think I'll answer your question when we get into that. But nonetheless, man, here's CM Punk. He's back today, and without further ado, let's crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what the hell he's all about, and see how this CM Punk return action figure compares to the rest of our older WWE Mattel Elite CM Punk action figures. So here's our Defining Moment CM Punk action figure out of the packaging, and we are going to take a look at every detail of this action figure and break down everything that we have going on. Of course, we are going to dive into the accessories first before we get into the figure itself, which will be the next portion of the video. But man, it is unbelievable. It kind of feels surreal to see a brand new CM Punk action figure right here. That's essentially kind of a re-release, which we'll get into, but man, I, I don't know. I have a lot of different feelings about this figure. Definitely not a perfect figure, and we'll dive into all those details, of course, as we get into it. And hopefully you guys always come to the reviews for the details. Let me know what you think. With that being said, man, let's dive into the accessories of CM Punk, and then we will dive into the figure itself. So getting into the accessories you get with Defining Moments CM Punk is going to be a decent amount. You get a decent amount right here. So probably one of the more memorable moments of the pipe bomb was that CM Punk was not wearing a CM Punk shirt. He was wearing a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt, which looks very good. You have the Stone Cold shirt here from around 2011, I think it was. And it's a pretty cool graphic. Not the most iconic Stone Cold shirt ever, but I think that this shirt was made famous by CM Punk, really, you know? I think that people know about this shirt a lot because of CM Punk, or at least they remember this shirt from this moment, so that's cool. It does have Velcro on the back, and we've actually gotten this shirt before from Mattel back in a Toys R Us exclusive WrestleMania 27, I think it was, Stone Cold Steve Austin figure or something like that, so they did upgrade it with the new shirt material and everything, but we have seen this shirt before. And the other iconic part of the damn pipe bomb was the microphone. He had a scratch WWE logo. This was before the modern time, so he did have a WWE logo on it. It's a standard mic, but it did have a little lip down here. Not the biggest deal, but it does have a scratch logo on it, but it was kind of, you can see there that the little plastic piece in the packaging kind of wrapped around it, so when I pulled that off, it kind of indented it. Not the biggest deal because I have so many of these, but certainly, you know, something worth noting. And he also comes wearing a Nexus armband because of the storyline that was happening at the moment. So he also has the Nexus armband, which is cool. It looks like this is slightly smaller than the other Nexus armbands. I want to say on his Elite 11 CM Punk, the armband or the Nexus N was bigger, so something worth note there. We've seen this with Undisputed Era and stuff like this. It's kind of just a plastic or rubbery armband that slides up on the figure. And on the other arm, he does come with an elbow pad, white elbow pad here, which he always wore around this time. And it's not bad. We used to see this on CM Punk figures all the time. And I'm glad they included it. It's definitely something worth including. And I usually don't include elbow pads with the accessories, but I felt like this was necessary. Now, outside of that, he does come with interchangeable hands. This is the first ever CM Punk Elite to come with interchangeable hands. You'll notice the X is a little bit lower on this hand over here, which is kind of bummy, but not the biggest deal of all time. And on this 
hand, he actually does feature the drug-free tattoos. I unfortunately cannot say that for the rest of the hands, but he does come with interchangeable fists that have the red X's on the tape and the drug-free tattoo. But then when you move into the mic holding hand, you'll see the X is low again over there. I don't know if that's on purpose. I don't think it is. I think that's just a mistake. And I wish this looked a bit more painted on than just standard X on there, but he doesn't have any hand tattoos on here, which is kind of unfortunate. You could probably buy decals or whatever, but that shouldn't be necessary. I think this figure was definitely rushed out, and this is kind of a sign of that. And last but not least, he does come with the prayer hands or the go-to-sleep hands, which is a just amazing thing. I'm so glad that they included this. I think this is excellent. We've been waiting for years for this, and when we get the ultimate, it'll probably be more necessary, but I think you actually can make the prayer hands or the go-to-sleep hands happen with this figure, which we'll see in the figure photography. But that does it for the CM Punk accessories. So getting into the figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt, this is a true effects version, effectively, of the Elite 16 CM Punk, and we will do a comparison right now, actually. We're going to get into the Elite 16 CM Punk so you guys can see exactly the differences here, but they're virtually the exact same. I mean, that's basically what this is here. You can see slight differences. The beard is applied with true effects. The eyes are applied with true effects, but it's essentially the exact same head sculpt. It even has the lip tattoo in there, which, not the lip tattoo, you jack A. It is the lip ring, but it looks good, and certainly... Certainly the new one looks a lot better. It's a lot more accurate, I think. Captures the, the likeness and thickness better than the previous version, but... I think it looks pretty good. They did a good job there. So I, I think that the head sculpt is pretty... Again, this was rushed out. Similar to Cody's first figures back and stuff, they did kind of rush it out. I think that it's safe to say they rushed it out a bit, but... I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's a bad deal. He does have all of his chest tattoos right there. You have the straight edge on the stomach right there as well. And it is the same torso we've come to know. They do use the Daniel Bryan torso, which I wish they wouldn't, but I'm not going to hate it. I think that it does get the job done. He doesn't have the Cobra tat or the Pepsi tattoo, unfortunately, but all the other tattoos are here. And they did a pretty good job. You'll notice some hand loosageness from... I, I feel like once you interchange them once, I feel like they get loose for the most part. But it does have the white hand tape in there. That is kind of annoying. My ab crunch... We'll get into the RT in just a moment, but I think that everything here looks pretty standard as far as CM Punk is concerned. This is one thing that I don't like, and it is going to be the star spacing here on the trunks. And if we compare this to the All-Stars Punk, which we'll do another comparison in a moment, if you compare the stars on the trunks, look how much more uniform the older version looked. And I don't know, I know there's a slight misprint on the old version, but I think the spacing is wrong on these. And I don't know, I think the left looks better than the right, and you guys can let me know what you think. But it is the exact same attire. I mean, everything about it's the exact same, but the spacing is off between the uh, the the four stars, or the, the, the end stars are a little bit spaced out, and I think it throws me off a little bit, so I'm also noticing that the torsos look a bit different in terms of the skin tone. The skin tone, this is an all-stars punk, so this is a really old figure, so maybe why the skin tone's so much different, but the skin tone's definitely different in comparison from the all-stars punk to this punk right here. Are you getting that? Look at the torsos. They're definitely much different there. I did do a head swap with these, but this one used to have the chest hair. This one has the tattoos on there, so, you know, he had a lot more tattoos this go around, but it is essentially the All-Stars Punk re-released. It just has a different head sculpt and t-shirt, but on the back, you can even see the stars are spaced out there, but then you have the large knee pads on here, which I despise, and then on the kick pads, I'm pretty sure the kick pad design is wrong as well in terms of the spacing, so I, I don't really know, and also there's lines missing at the top right here, so you guys will see that. There's supposed to be lines on the top of the insides that they didn't get either, so I, I don't know. I just think that these are little details that they missed when they were trying to rush the figure out potentially, and you know, nobody bats a thousand. I understand a lot of the mistakes and you know you're producing so many figures and things happen but obviously you want these figures to be the best they possibly can be but in terms of articulation I do feel like my ab crunch is a little loose it's not terrible and it gets tight when you get back here but it is something to note I feel like this shoulder gets stuck too you guys will see this like look at this right here it's not stuck if I go I'm afraid to go all the way around because I feel like it's going to get super loose but it does have some weirdness going on in the shoulder you do get nice articulation I mean this is definitely the most articulated CM Punk figure we've ever seen from Mattel in terms of the double jointed arms and everything like that, but it's certainly, all these little things I think are worth noting, so you guys know exactly what you're getting here, but the legs can kick forward pretty good as well. One thing I am noticing though is I cannot really do a split, and I know that a lot of people don't really care about that, but it almost feels stuck. I feel like it may snap if I keep pushing that, so that's definitely something you want to keep, uh, you know, keep up to note too. Don't just kind of flex it out there, kind of take it slow, but double jointed knee is there. These large knee pads ruin it though, so I will be switching those out. You'll probably see in the photography point. I'm going to switch these out immediately because I can't stand them. I just think they serve no usage. I don't care if they're accurate or not. They don't help anything to me. So I, 
I would rather have the small Seth Rollins open knee pads should be used for anything that's a smaller knee pad. And then anybody that wears these large ones like this, use the standard ones like this right here. So this should be considered the large knee pad mold, not the small knee pad mold. And then anything you want to do smaller than this should just be the open ones that Seth Rollins comes with, I think. So just something to know. But let's get into some CM Punk figure comparisons in conjunction with this defining moment CM Punk Elite. So for your CM Punk figure comparisons, here is a bunch of my CM Punk Elites. It's not all of them, but it is a good majority of them from left to right. We do have the Best of Pay-Per-View Toys R Us exclusive CM Punk, the Elite 11, the Elite 16, All-Stars CM Punk Elite 2-pack figure that came with Stone Cold Steve Austin, but it does have a head swap. You have another Best of Pay-Per-View Toys R Us exclusive here with a head swap. You have the Ringside exclusive ECW Punk, the Elite 20, and the last Elite that Mattel gave us was the Elite 29, which was right here in the Wolverine style gear. And just for, you know, this is what we got last time, the last time we saw CM Punk, and then here is the most recent and I guarantee you they will re-release this in a greatest hits or from the vault series and I guarantee you they'll probably give us this one as well that's going to be my guess they could give us the elite 16 punk which is over here but you know we are getting a equivalent to this in ultimate edition form but I I would guess if I had to put my money on it we will see these two for sure in from the vault and I could even even see the elite 11 right here so we'll see we'll see what goes on right there between which punks we get re-released and stuff you guys know that there's a ton of punks coming as I try to knock the camera out and assault it. But I think that is all the CM Punk comparisons that we have here. And I think that, you know, there's going to be plenty of punks to come in. We're going to get mainline ultimates. We're going to get exclusives. We're going to get top talents. We're going to get from the vault. We're going to get greatest hits. We may even get Legends greatest hits. Who knows at this juncture, you know? I think that would be a realistic possibility. So nonetheless, that does it for your CM Punk figure comparisons. But I think that about wraps up our Defining Moments WWE Elite Ringside Exclusive CM Punk action figure, man. At the end of the day, I think this is an excellent return. I think this is a figure that a lot of people have been waiting on for a very long time. I mean, people, especially CM Punk fans, have been wanting this figure from Mattel in action figure form from them for a very long time and it's finally here. I know it's not a perfect figure which we touched on throughout the video right. Some of the interchangeable hands don't have the drug free tattoo. I think there's some design issues on the stars on the trunks and on the kick pads. I don't think they're quite right. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to look like but I'm pretty sure something's off about them. They like the star spacing and the lines and things like that but at the end of the day this is a figure we've been waiting on. I love the addition of the brand new double jointed arms, the pinless arms, the Things like that are excellent. And the legs are not pinless, so you can remove those kick pads. The, mo the one thing that I'm doing immediately is going to be getting rid of these knee pads. You may even notice in the photography, I switched out the knee pads. And I did put on this CM Punk screaming head sculpt from an AEW figure just to kind of give it more life. You know, that's part of the job, you know, is to mix and match figures from the past. It's not all about what this figure comes with, but what you compare with it sometimes. Some things I think, sometimes I think accessories are imperative, and I am a guy who loves his accessories. But I also think at times that you compare older figures or newer figures figures, accessories with other figures, and that's kind of what makes a collection complete is when you mix and match. It's my favorite thing about the hobby and about the community is taking different action figure accessories and pairing them with others and kind of making like an ultimate version of a said character or moment or really bringing it all to life or bringing it more closer to the actual material it's referencing or whatever it is, but I really dig it. I think this is an awesome release. I think it's a perfect inclusion of the Defining Moments line. Very much needed. I'm excited to have this. I'm very excited for more CM Punks to come, and it should be an epic year of Punk next year, I think. Now, obviously, we are getting a ton of CM Punks in 2024, but I think 2025 is when we're really going to ramp up the CM Punks, and next to Cody Rhodes, it's going to be like every other figure is going to be CM Punk and Cody Rhodes, which is good with me, because I like both guys in terms of the wrestling and everything. I'm a fan of both guys, you know, so this is good. Was this figure kind of rushed? Possibly, but I think it's all good. I think it's all good. I think we have a good figure set right here, and I think if you're a CM Punk fan, this is absolutely one you need for the collection, but I overall, like this figure a lot, and I think you guys will also like it as well if you guys want to get into it, but I'm getting the hell out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% absolutely when shopping over there. I greatly appreciate it. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, of course. Thank you guys so very much for your support as always, man. I love you guys. Thank you guys so very much for your support. It means the absolute world to me, man. Thank you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart. But I'm getting out, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you guys later.